Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk about a new blockchain called Casper. And the reason why I've got CoinList page up here is because they will be using that platform to ICO. And I know there are some people out there who don't like to get into ICOs. They prefer the coin to be listed. So if that is you, do still listen in to, to, to know why this is a great project. Uh, the blockchain, I think, will be doing some great things and it will continue to grow from where it starts off. So let me just quickly just run through with you what the options are before I get into the detail of what Casper is, how it was created and why I think it's going to be a great project as well. So if you do go on to the coin list page and I'll, I'll add this in to the description for this video, what you have is three different sale options. They've got the, the dates when they're available, the different amounts you're able to invest and the price you get it at as well. So if you do, if you are interested in the ICO, you can do that. So let's get into what Casper is about. So a couple of years ago, there was an issue with the Ethereum blockchain. So there, to, to resolve this, there were, there were two options that were brought about. And Ethereum has always been a proof of work. One of the solutions was a proof of stake option. And this was for the ghost problem. Um, and one of the, the the solutions was called Casper FFG, as you can see here on the screen, and the other one was called Casper CBC. Now, the CBC version was uh, created, the solution was created by someone called Vlad Zamfir, and he was one of the early developers for Ethereum. So the the community, the developers collectively with Vitalik opted for the FFG solution, and it still continues to be a proof of work for Ethereum, but they do want to move to proof of stake. Now, that solution, the CBC Casper solution, was very much designed to move straight away to a proof of stake, and many thought that it was the solution for Ethereum. Now, considering that Ethereum didn't use that, what happened was a new blockchain was created. They created their own virtual machine and they created a, a blockchain which was on the basis of this Casper CBC idea. And you had the lead architect as Vlad Zamfir who had created this. So I'll also add this article as well, which talks about what is Casper. Uh, it talks about how it works. It also talks about Casper for Ethereum too, because you may have heard it in that context. And that is very much about the FFG, the, the upgrade within it. However, Ethereum will be moving to what Casper is doing. So Casper is already in the proof of stake. And that is one thing that very much helps it with not only being decentralized, but having the security, but more importantly, the scalability. And that's what's really held Ethereum back. The fact that it's been struggling to overcome the scalability issue. So here it's talking about the advantages of Casper and looking at both of them side by side, and not taking into consideration that Ethereum started uh, a long time ago and then the fact that it has a big community, a big developing developer community, and that it has a lot of partnerships with a lot of companies and organizations. But if you just look at the technology side by side, Casper is the one which is probably more enhanced. No, it's actually, it's definitely more enhanced. In actual fact, Ethereum will be using what Casper does to, to lead its way to get to the same type of level. So it, it talks very much about that being the advantage of Casper. Here it talks about that developers are still discussing the possibility of 51% attacks. Now, with 51% attacks in the proof of work element, if the mining is done by more than 51%, then yes, you can make an attack with proof of stake. It's harder because 
it's very much about owning 51% of the coins out there, which makes it a lot harder. There can be these mining rigs that get together, that collate, and there's some very large ones out there as well, which could potentially do a 51% attack. In theory, I think the possibility is, is much, much smaller in proof of stake. So they're talking about the limitations here, and they're very much saying that at the moment, the the we we haven't seen the the efficiency and the security. So once it is up and running, we'll be able to see whether that really does work. Now the closing thoughts here are very much saying that Ethereum will rely on Casper's model, and it's going to be looking to what Casper do. So. Casper is the, the blockchain which is leading the way in the technology. And I think that's why it's so important. Uh, and, and the team that it has behind it as well. So let me just quickly go on to their, their web page. So we, we know the technology is amazing. I'm going to go into the team that they have behind it as well and the backing. So it's it's definitely trying to do the same thing as Ethereum. It wants to work with businesses it wants to work with large enterprises and give them solutions and i think that's what at the moment puts ethereum much further ahead the fact that it all already has those those relationships but that's also because ethereum has been around for about six years and i think casper once it gets going in 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 a, the next couple of years it will grow to be very large as well now it says that you can subscribe, you can stay up to date with their partnerships, the networks, what they're doing to grow. Um, and th this very much goes into details of what I've mentioned as well. The CBC uh, proof of stake that they're, they're very much optimized for enterprise as well. That is going to be scalable. They won't have that problem that uh, that Ethereum has had future proof. It talks about how it'd be easier to to upgrade. It talks about predictable gas fees as well. Now, I think this is a great thing because at the moment, Ethereum really struggles because the gas prices have gone very, very large. It's been growing a great deal. Whereas with whereas with Casper Labs, what they're going to do is they're going to very much focus on the fact that it is a blockchain where you can reserve the amount that you want for your future gas fees. So if you have, you, you know how much you're going to be using, this is very much for the organizations and the enterprises, then they can reserve that. And so they know how much they're going to be using of that chain. They actually are able to get that part of the blockchain as well. So this is why it's going to be much better for businesses as well now they've got some great organizations they're already working with they've got some great backers as you can see from here on the screen they've got the documentation and resources that you can read as well the community and they've got the team here as well now i think these guys are great now this individual here mirinor manohar what you'll be able to see is he is someone who's been involved in the the crypto world for a very long time now he's one of the the, the co-founders he's the ceo but he has been an early investor look at this in so many big projects pretty much from the start and he's been heavily involved as well and their cto is someone who not only has decades of experience in products uh, and managing them and software as well and software very much for providing solutions to enterprises she's been also involved in quality assurance making sure that it's the best quality what they are providing and and like i said look how far back it goes many many years and and she's been doing this a long time so that is i, I think the team behind it is is absolutely amazing now this is being this is this got launched in 2008 when i say launched they created this in 2018 vlad was one of like i said the league architects as well he he's very much 
he was very much involved with it. He came on board in February 2019 and he very much helped create it. Obviously, it was his idea. And like it mentions here, he focused on build, building a market leading protocol for performance, speed and decentralization, which was a, a great thing that he did to be part of this as well. However, he did leave it in October. There was a few things that happened and, and he decided to lead, leave. Now, he also did tweet at the time as well. I don't lead and, that, and have never led Casper Labs. But I think there was a lot of people that thought it was his project and and he wanted to clarify the fact that he was just on board with it one thing that i did see today which i do want to bring to you because i don't want to say look you know it's all great this this it's always good to have a balanced view now he vlad zamfir is saying well he's trying to sue casper labs now this is very interesting to me because i'm, I'm trying to kind of understand as to why he is doing that so here it talks about that he was involved with it that uh you know it, it's got a lot of backing it's got a lot of uh people who who were using their capital within casper labs but vlad is saying that they were misleading investors now it doesn't say with what detail so he's talking about the fact that at the moment they're doing their ico but he's saying that Casper is being used within their documentation to mislead Casper Labs. Now, it may well be the, the fact that it's something that he is maybe disgruntled with. I don't know. I don't know the details, but it says here Casper Labs disputes his claim that he's and, and the, the lawsuit that he has filed. So I don't think, like it says here, they're not going to shy away from this litigation. Casper Labs is is an organization that has been set up very, very well. They've tried very hard and have done so in terms of making sure that they stay within the regulations. They, they made sure that the ICO is only for those individuals who fit into the regulations as well. So it's something to be aware of, and I'll certainly be having a look at how it develops. But I think at the moment, it doesn't take away from what this amazing uh, project is. So there you have it. That is very much Casper. Uh, like I said, you can, I, I would definitely recommend reading more of it. I will add in the links in the description. I think it's a great project just to give you uh, an understanding of what sort of price these are available at and, and the, the size that it could potentially get to. So if you if you were to buy at this price, it's um, it's valuing the the whole project at 210 million, which is you might think uh, that's eight percent of it, which is you might think is a considerable amount. If it's at this price, which is double the option one, this is option three here, as you can see there, that is obviously double. The, the value so not 210 but instead of 420 now you may say 420 million that is a very very large price but for what this project is i think in the long term and there are lock-up periods for uh, some of those options as well but in the long term i think this is something that can grow much much bigger i mean going from even let's say 400 million to, to 40 billion uh, getting up there with where at where we see now Cardano and Polkadot. I mean, Polkadot, we, we have seen absolutely explode in the space of just over half a year. Now, I think Casper over the next couple of years will grow to be very, very big and very, very large. And, and like I said, even if you don't want to get involved in the ICO, once it does get listed, you'll have this on your radar. You'll know what it's about. You know why it's a good project or why I believe, in my opinion, it's a good project. And you can make a decision for yourself as to when you want to get into it and whether it's one for you as well. But for me, it's very much bringing you information, not only about new coins, coins that haven't even listed like Casper, news, views, uh, uh, all sort of range of information that can help you understand the crypto world and 
buying cryptocurrencies a lot better as well. Like I always say, it's very much what is your strategy. People have different strategies. So I, I'm, for me, it's very much to bring you the information and my opinion to and for you to then take that on board and, and decide what you would like to do with it. So there you have it. That's Casper, bought by Casper Labs. Hope, hope you found that useful, informative. As always, if you have, please do give me a like. It does help the channel. Please do subscribe for more videos like this new coins have a look at the other videos that i have as well I do try to bring as much value as possible to you and uh yeah if if you have enjoyed it please do subscribe i've been cal this is crypto crazy and i'll see you in the next one bye